But what are the health risks associated with long-term radon exposure? You kind of mentioned it, but just to kind of go into a little bit more detail for everyone that doesn't necessarily understand radon so much. Sure. It, it attacks the lungs. So radon is a carcinogen uh -huh. and the radon has a half-life and the half-life is what causes your lungs to be attacked. Oh, wow. Um, so it's yeah. the second leading cause of lung cancer. They, can, they attribute like 25,000 deaths. Um, a year just to radon wow. uh, for non-smokers. So it's wow. people that never smoked before that wind up with lung cancer. And then for the majority of those people, um, they wind up um, testing high in their homes for radon. I had one probably about, it was about two weeks ago. Yeah. The lady actually got diagnosed with lung cancer. She was in the middle of chemo. Uh, she's never smoked a day in her life. And the doctor asked her if she ever tested for radon. And of course, she had no clue what radon was. A lot of people yeah. don't. No. Uh, so she wound up testing and her radon levels in her house were 46. Wow. Wow. So they were super high. Yeah. So that so was like, that's crazy. What, I'm sorry. Yeah. You can get on. Yeah. No, you're fine. I was going to thank goodness for her. her yeah. It's in remission. Wow. So she's on her last volley. She's about to ring the bell for cancer. But uh, awesome. yeah, that was a, an example of you know, her, how high her radon levels are. She, she's never smoked a day in her life. So that, that's so crazy. And, you know, it's funny because I've noticed that there is so much more lung cancer, you know, the, I hear about it so much more. And, you know, like you said, it's just people not, they're not smokers and they'll have it. So, you know, right. it makes a lot of sense. 